Hey, I'm out here at uh, Oregon's Wolf Creek Public Shooting Lanes. I've got my 1911 um, A1 Service by T-Sauce. Uh, this gun I bought brand new, had factory iron sights. They were way off, they were far down and to the right, but had Columbia Gunsmithing install a couple of fire sights I bought. Uh, they did a great job, but it's not sighted in at all. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to try and sight it in at about five yards and uh, see if we can consistently get some rounds on target. So if you've never tried to sight in a gun before, the guns with the nicer sights usually have a fixed front sight. So you'll see this, it's just staked in place. We can't do anything, we can't adjust it at all. But the rear, we have a windage adjustment on the back. That's a left-right adjustment. And then we have an elevation adjustment on top. So when I shoot, I'm going to look and see where it is, and I'm going to try and slowly adjust these guys and dial it in. Also, as a side note, I think these fire sights are really cool. You'll see that uh, the dots appear to be glowing, but there's no batteries. There's no weird radioactive chemicals, nothing. It's actually just a light tube. So I can focus in there. So you can see that little green ring is just picking up the ambient light and lighting up the dots at the end. Uh, same for the front sight. So apparently I failed to actually press record on that first shot, but here's where we are. I was aiming right at the middle of the uh, orange oval there, and we're just a little down and to the right. That's already substantially better than the factory iron sights. So because we're down and to the right a little bit, we need to adjust that sight. So... We don't have a direction on the windage adjustment, but we just take a little tiny flathead and we're going to walk it in or out. We're going to want to move the sight to the right, I believe. So clockwise on this guy. And likewise for the elevation, because we're a little bit low, if you can see it, it's upside down, but it says up right here is counterclockwise. So we're going to go just a little bit counterclockwise here. And we'll try it again. Oh, man. So that one, we hit the orange there, and we're just barely off to the left. So I don't know if that's the gun or if that's me. So I'll give it another shot here, and we'll see what happens. So as you can see from that clip, I'm hitting way low, but I've hit the center twice with these settings. So I'm not sure if that's my technique or the gun, but that's real weird. I keep hitting low, and it might just be poor technique, but I'm going to try adjusting up some more. So, likewise, we come in here, we go counterclockwise, which is indicated up. Oh, and that's come all the way loose. 
Okay guys, I've figured out what's going on. If you can see, we've got that rear sight quite a bit higher now, and the pivot is just real, real stiff there. So that's why we weren't getting any adjustment out of it. So now, if I wind it back down, you should see some movement here. You can see we've come down a ways, so. So we're getting closer, but I think we need to go up a little bit more. So I'm gonna loosen this. And then my screw has come loose here, so we've got to kind of press this up. <clears throat> now we've got tension on it again. So, we'll try that. And that got us another round on target there. I didn't really call this out, but I did start shooting at the little arc space directly above the center orange oval there. And it looks like, uh, you know, more of my technique is the problem at the moment. So we got a couple almost right on top of each other in the middle of it, and that's where I was trying to aim. So, feeling better. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our quick video on sighting in my 1911. Hopefully it's been helpful, if not entertaining. The YouTube algorithm, as always, would like you to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. But we just uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.